Trixie Pixie and this bundle of joy was just dropped off at my house and it's my inventory cache from Collectible Geek. And what this is, is Collectible Geek is a website. I will put all the information down below if you're interested. Um, they each month put out different themes and different sizes of the boxes. Um, they have the regular caches is what they call them. Um, with the themes, I think next month's theme is Super Who Lock, which is Supernatural, Doctor Who, and Sherlock. Um, and that one, it starts, I think they start at like 15, 25, around there. Um, and then you can get like an I Want It All cash, which has tons more stuff. The price is more expensive. Um, or they have a pop pack where you buy just Funko Pops um, based on that theme. So pretty cool, right? This box is actually an inventory cache. They are trying to make room in their warehouse for all the new stuff for the new um, boxes coming out. So they do a sale on all the other stuff that they have put in future or past boxes, excuse me, stuff that they've put in past boxes. They figure why not? Maybe somebody wants it. So for $20, that's right, plus shipping, which I think I paid under 30 with shipping, um, I got stuff from the last few boxes that they have sent out and I have never gotten a collectible geek box, so everything in here is new to me. Super excited! So I have to just say how cute their little logo is. It's adorable. And then I love on the um, shipping label. Isn't that cute? What does it say again? It says time to get your geek on. Time to get your geek on. So I, I am super excited to get into this. Um, my table is still occupied, so I'm using an armchair here. So, let's see what we have inside. Open this up. Let's see here. What is this? What is this race? Oh my god, that is so cool. It's a Beetlejuice Wacky Wobbler. That is so cool. I don't have any Beetlejuice stuff. And I grew up with Beetlejuice. I love the packaging on this. It's got the uh, tombstone on the sides and he's different he's like pointing at you here he's laughing at you here oh my gosh he is so cool i want to take him out because that's what i do i like to see all the pretty stuffs so i take them out of the box let's see here oh it looks like they got some paint on the uh inside of the box you see that right on the that little green fleck right in the center there's paint on the box that's okay because it's not on the figure uh, wow. Holy cow, this thing's heavy. I didn't know the Wacky Wobblers would be so heavy. Very cool. Oh my gosh, he is wicked cool. So yeah, he's a bobbler. His head bobbles. And it says Beetlejuice on the base. And his awesome little suit. And look at that hair. Oh my gosh. That hair is so cool. He is very detailed. He is super cool. Awesome! Gotta figure out where I'm gonna put you. Yeah, do you love me? Yeah, you love Beetlejuice. He's so cute. I love bobbleheads. They're so much fun. Cool! Okay, so we got that. Don't know where I'm gonna put you. I'll put you over here. Stay. Alright, let's see what's next. Oh, I think we have a pop. What do we got? We could get a Firefly Pop. This is, oh, I can't even say his name, Hoban, Washburn, it's Wash. Wash. He is super cool. And can I just say how amazing Collectible Geek is? They shipped this in a pop protector. This has a plastic case over the actual box to protect the box. That is super cool. Why don't all the subscription box companies include pop protectors? They need to because of all the collectors that like to have things in pristine boxes, they should ship everything in pop, protect pop protectors. Um, but I don't keep things in boxes, so let's go ahead and get this out of the pop protector and then get it out of the box. All right, so we got the clear pop protector, which is just like a plastic casing. And here we have the pop. 
There are five in the Firefly series, and I do not have any Firefly Pops. Um, I definitely want to get Kaylee. I love Kaylee. She's totally me. Um, but I love Wash. He is so cute. Oh my gosh. Let's get him out so we can take a look at him. And this box is pristine. Let's get you out, Wash. I want to see what you look like. I want to see that little dinosaur in your hand. All right, he is not a bobblehead. He is just a regular vinyl figure. And he is so cute. I love his hair. I love his hair. He's so cute. So he's got his little outfit on with the little Hawaiian shirt and a dinosaur. Do you see that cute little dinosaur? Roar! He is adorable. Oh my gosh, so cute. So cute. Now I have to get all the Firefly guys. Yes, I do. You are so cute. Yay! So I got a pop. Awesome. Let's see what else we got in here before I knock it over. Let's see. We have a box. Oh, we have a Series 3 Walking Dead Mystery Mini. And I do have a couple of these, so hopefully we won't get any doubles. Hopefully, crush fingers. Cross your fingers. Cross your fingers. I almost burped in the middle of saying cross your fingers. That's why I was. But I didn't. Okay. So, oh my God. Why do they make these things so hard to open? I got like these dagger nails and I still can't get anything open. Come on. God. Look at my life difficult. Okay. So now that the plastic's off. These are all the different guys you can collect. And, oh my god, what I would do for a Daryl. Or even a regular Daryl. Um, I have Tyrese. I have the Golf Club Walker. I have Gwen and Maggie. And I have the Maggot Walker. I think that's the Maggot Walker there, yeah. So, I would, oh my god, I would be over the moon ecstatic for a Daryl. Over the moon. Over the moon. Like, way over it. Like, almost like above and beyond it okay all right so that's the box who do i have i have somebody with a knife somebody with a knife let's see which means it's not daryl i got glenn yay i got a glenn that's okay though i'll trade him because i already have glenn awesome very cool so he is really cool these figures are really nice i absolutely love Funko's mystery figures. They're mystery minis. They do a really good job on these. He is super cool. But unfortunately, like I said, I do have Glenn already. I have Glenn and Maggie. So I will hold on to him for a trade. All right. Oh, I dropped the box. Now I have to get the box. I'm back. Okay. So put him back in there and I will trade him later. That's the risk with mystery minis, getting doubles. It happens. It always happens. No matter how much you try to avoid it, it happens. All right, so let's see what else is in this box. What is this? What is this? What is this? OMG, I got my own stunner shades. Now I can be like Johnny. Now I can be like Johnny. Wearing my stunner shades. What, what? Are these cool? Can I pull these off? Are these awesome? They don't really protect your eyes from the sun because they do have slats and they go through. Okay. See, can you see my nail going through it? They just, they're slats. There's no glass or plastic or anything in there. They're just, they're just cool stunna shades. Just cool stunna shades. I can't see anything with these on, really. So I'm not going to wear them throughout the rest of the video. Maybe I'll wear them on my head. There we go. I'll wear them on my head. Stunner head. Okay. Next thing we have is a bag. We have a blind bag, 12 to collect. This is collection one, um, a two-in-one Creo Transformers micro changer. That sounds really cool. I've never heard of these guys. And it looks like each character is a figure and a beast. Like it transforms into um, one of the Transformers and then it transforms into one of their vehicles or cars or monsters or whatever. So, there are 12 different ones to collect. Let's see which one we can get. 
I don't want to rip the plastic off so I can't see what the names are on the back. Oh, yay, and it's in the little pieces, so I have to put it together. Cool. Of course, it's a Creole figure. Duh, Ricky. All right, so it looks like we got Misfire. Misfire, that's who we got. So let's see. The little pamphlet that comes in here has got Misfire on it. And let's see if it says in the back. Oh, okay, so Misfire, you get Misfire, all the pieces to make him. And then you can also make the jet form with him. So you can build two different characters with him. That's really cool. And of course I'm looking on the back because there's dinosaur stuff and those are really cool and I want dinosaurs. I want dinosaur things. Those are cool. So very cool. Uh, I like Transformers. My husband likes them more and he likes Legos so I'll probably let him put that together. That's really cool. He'll like that. Sweet. And then if he likes these, I can try to get the other ones for him. Cool. All right. Next thing we have in the inventory cache. Let's see here. What is this? This is a circle magnet. Circle magnet. No idea what that is. I think my husband said something about Stargate something like that but um it is a magnet i don't know i'm not a fan of stargate so trade but that's pretty cool i like that it's a cool magnet um but not my personal flavor that's okay it happens okay next thing in the box okay there's two more things in the box i'm sick of going over there and grabbing the box so we have two more things in the box we have this micro poster desktop posters two pack and it's got Iron Man and Thor and I think that's Bruce Banner over here with the little chemistry set. Let's take this out. But they're Little Heroes Series 1. So they're like the heroes, Marvel heroes, but like little babies. They're so cute. All right, let's take this out. Frame them on your desk. Keep them in your album. Trade them with your friends. Collect them all. So this says it's a two-pack, so there should be two prints in here. Let's see which ones we get. Oh, drop the thingy. Oh, that's just the little paper thing. All right, so we got the Iron Man, Bruce Banner, Tony Stark, Bruce Banner, and Thor print, which is super adorable. And then we got on the back, it has all the four prints you can get out of this set. And I would really, 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 really like the uh, Nick Fury, who's like having a tantrum. I think that would be adorable. So, let's see which one we get. Oh my gosh, that one's adorable too! It's Black Widow, I think. It looks like a, a little Black Widow. And she's got Bruce Banner, and then all the form up until the biggest Hulk. But it's like those nesting dolls. That is so cute! Oh my goodness, that is adorable. Oh, I have to put these up. These are so cute. Sweet! I almost, when I started taking them apart, I thought they were going to be the same exact print and I started to freak out. I was like, what are the odds I get two of the same print? But it's just the same background. Those are so cute. Yay! Oh my gosh! Okay, and we got one last thing in the box. And that is the issue number 44 of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I have seen this issue before. I knew that they got it in one of the past um, caches. Um, but I have never read any of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle comics. And to start with this issue would be really weird. Because I think this is a bad issue, like, that's a sad right there. That's a sad. So, um, that is really cool though. I will probably hang on to this and maybe see if I can find the other 43 issues online or something maybe to read. Um, but that is really cool. And it does come bagged and boarded, so awesome! They really know how to, you know, treat these collectible items. You know, bagged and boarded comics and pop protectors. They know what they're doing. Collectible cash, or collectible cash, collectible geek knows what they're doing um, with their caches. So, 
Um, that is awesome. So this was basically, this was an inventory cache where they took all their back stock of extra items they had from previous caches and they just threw it into a box and shipped it out. And you know what? I can't be happier because I've never gotten one of these caches before. So I got a little bit of, you know, individual stuff from other caches. So that's pretty cool. And they just randomly decide to throw one up whenever they need to move product. So that works for me if it works for anybody else. Um, I do also have the, oh, what is it called? The Animation After Dark cache coming, which was um, basically the theme was Animation After Dark. So any shows that are on Adult Swim or, you know, late night cartoons, um, those are what we're hoping to see in the um, Animation After Dark. And if you are like me, I want to see Archer. I want Archer stuff in that box, crossing my fingers, but I know it's probably going to be Futurama, Simpsons, um, or not Simpsons, sorry, Futurama and um, the Flintstones, maybe Simpsons, I don't know, um, but like primetime TV stuff, so super excited about that cash, cannot wait, it should be here soon, they said, I think they said they were shipping on or before August 15th, crossing my fingers, they ship way before that because it's not even... July 15th yet, but um, very excited. So if you are interested in Collectible Geek, I will put all the information down below. By the way, they are not doing subscriptions anymore. So if you want a box, you gotta buy the box right then before it sells out. They're not doing subscriptions anymore. So there's no month to month fee. So you just buy the boxes that you wanna buy. And you know what, that works for me because I can't afford the boxes every single month. Um, to auto pay, but if I have extra cash and I want to get that month's cash, two different words, okay, um, then I can pick it up. So I will put all that information down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!